So I realized that I was spending a little too much time on Instagram than I should. So then two days ago, I did this. I just broke that fast after two days and here's what I realized that it's possible. You know, you can also do social media detoxes every now and then to clear your mind off of what someone else is doing, how they've achieved greater things in life than you have. Was I tempted to check my DMs or check who's like my posts and stuff? Yes, I was. I reflexively, you know, opened the app at least five times. I was going to go through the scroll, but I didn't. And all in all, it was a wonderful experience and I'm probably going to do it again. I've done social media marketing for a living, so I understand the severe need for it. I see the value in it. I see the value in Instagram as a platform, but I feel like breaks like these are kind of important. And yeah, so that was definitely a pretty good detox for two days. And now let's continue with the rest of the vlog. I was going to start chopping cauliflower for gobi paratha. And then I saw this guy. Quite frankly, we have another cauliflower, but I'm so put off by this. I don't think I'm going to open another cauliflower. So then I don't know what lunch is going to be then. Because gobi paratha was on our lunch agenda this afternoon and we had started dreaming about it too. And the thing is, I hadn't seen one of these tapeworms in quite some time. Because usually in Canada, we get, you know, very clean cauliflower. This is a one-off case. But yeah, what first world problems, right? <laughs> So then we just ended up ordering Uber Eats. That's how put off I was with cauliflower and potentially anything in my fridge. Uber Eats it is. Uber Eats is here. We got a falafel plate and uh, I think Shreya got a chicken plate. I've been eating pretty healthy most of the week anyway. It's just one of those days when you see cauliflower worms and you're put off by everything in your fridge. So we ordered. That's mine. It's a falafel plate and that's Shreya's chicken plate, right? Chicken plate, right? Yeah. See you after lunch. Also running out of Also running out of coffee beans, so we need to get coffee from outside today. I'm not going to a drive through I'm just picking up basic coffee from the convenience store. Functional coffee. got my debit card so <laughs> just the lady let me get the coffee up but uh, I'm gonna go make the payment now <sighs> so the headlights of a car are quite this is an old car right and the headlights are very foggy I got a kit from Canadian tire and I'm gonna try and clean it up let me show you the before first so that's the it's quite quite dirty and foggy right Basically, it comes complete with all these things. It's like a full kit. So the first bit was to sand with 2000 grit paper. I'll show you the results. You can already see it's coming along. So 2000 grit hadn't even scratched the surface. Let me show you what 3000 sandpaper did. Now I can say it's coming along. Now I'm going to show you what the 4000 grit disc does. Nice, right? The sanding I think is done. I'm happy with how it's come along. The next step is to polish it. Let's get to that. And we're done. Do you want to see some magic? Some real, real magic. Take a look. 